This video is brought to you by Disgusting Humans. Welcome to the channel. For this edition of What Do I Eat in a Week? Whole Food, Plant-Based, Vegan, I decided to focus on family favorites. I'm gonna make this one more regularly. More regularly, that's a word. So what you're gonna see here is a bunch of breakfast, lunches, dinners, desserts, and everything here is kid approved. That really goes. It's like you're eating oatmeal. Except for the meal that I make at the end because I'm gonna challenge myself to make something using only what's left in the house to make a new family favorite. Get out, get out of there. It's hiding, it knows it's gonna be turned into something delicious. This could be terrible. If you've seen this channel before, you know that my kids do not sugarcoat it when they don't like something. You didn't like it, right? Ah! I want french fries. So uh, I'm making french fries. So make sure you stick around to see how that turns out. Before we get started, let me know in the comments below what your family favorite go-to meals are. And if you don't have a whole food plant-based version yet, let me know and I'll maybe try to make one for you. If at any point during this video you like it, hit the like button and subscribe for more stuff like this. Now let's see what I ate. So for breakfast this morning, I noticed that one of my old recipes on my website was taking off. I think every now and then somebody posts something on Facebook and others go crazy for it. So thanks whoever's doing that. So this recipe is, looks like a variation on my oat bake. It's maple, cinnamon, apple. And I haven't made this in forever. The biggest difference here is I guess I don't blend the oats up. It's good to whirl. I love my oat bake. So this one's just as good. And probably has a slightly different texture to it. Willie made me pancakes so I don't have to eat this. Pancakes. Your pancakes though, but those look like pancakes that I would eat. No. I didn't know she was gonna make pancakes. So this is a different texture than I, than I remember. It's kind of mushy and gloppy. It's nice though. I might make this one more regularly. More regularly. That's a word. I can see why this got popular on my website again. It's a good one. So for dinner tonight, we're making mac and cheese, right, Willie? Mac Craft dinner mac and cheese. No. Wooly dinner mac and cheese. You are burning the fuck out of those carrots. No, I'm not. I smell it. Ooh, it's garlic. It smells good. I have this other video that I made for my Bell 5 show that I'm gonna insert here to show you the process with which, with, with which we make the sauce for the mac and cheese. Uh, and then really we just pour it on top of noodles and whatever vegetable we're gonna throw in here. Probably be broccoli or peas tonight. The only addition we have for this one that's not in that other recipe is we add a half a block roughly of silken tofu now because it adds a nice boost of protein. We were making the mac and cheese and just adding in some black beans or something. And she didn't like it. It just, no. What's the only you like about it? It takes away from the mac and cheesiness and then you have all this like carb stuff happening. So we just add fat instead with the tofu, which Woo. is good for you. Well, that's what cheese is, right? So you're replacing a fat yeah, with a fat. fat. Three uh, cheers for fat. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. And then I made some berry pudding, which I also forgot to videotape. Because that's the kind of day I'm having. You're doing great, dude. Thanks, Wooly. Is this from the ditch? This is a recipe from the ditch. From the ditch. But this is not an official dish video. But if you want to watch that video, the link is down below where we cooked from a book that we found in the oh, ditch God. for an entire week. What are you doing over yeah, there? I just threw something on the floor. And you know what's gonna happen? What? Put it back in. Because that's, we're human beings. I cleaned the floor today. This video is brought to you by Disgusting Humans. Here's our dessert for tonight. It's very smooth. Wait, it's like jello. It's kind of like jello. Mmm. It's really nice. Oh! Ooh, that's It's creamy, it's really smooth. I like the berry a lot. So for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna make uh, a few little things. I'm gonna make French toast. And I also just did a big arm workout, so I wanna have like a protein smoothie as well to bulk it up. While my frying pan is heating up, I'm gonna make that French toast mixture so it can sit for a few minutes and just kind of thicken. And then, right away, I'm gonna make my smoothie mixture and then put it in the fridge so it can thicken as well. 
And then both these things will kind of be optimal and ready to eat around the same time. And then just for some fruit, my daughter left a half a banana over here. So I'm gonna have that and a sliced up orange on the side. I'm using my sourdough. If you wanna know how to make sourdough, I made a video about that. I'll link to it down below. Cherry is like my favorite fruit in the world. Although this looks really purple. Doesn't look like a cherry smoothie at all. It's so good. Yeah, I've made French toast in forever. I just thought it'd be fun to do. For you all, not for me. This isn't for me, I'm doing this for you. Not all heroes wear capes, but they do eat French toast. That's as good as any French toast I ever had using eggs. Mmm. What's some of your lazy, easy go-to breakfasts? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll make them. So for dinner, one of our family's go-tos is basically burritos or Mexican bowls. I found this jackfruit plant-based mix thing at the grocery store a little while ago. So I think we're gonna use this. We also cooked up some beans in the Instant Pot. We're gonna throw some rice together. What else, Willie? Olives. Olives, just, it's gonna be simple. Salsa, we've got some diet cheese that we'll probably grate up and put on top. We have lettuce and we have cucumbers and we have both. Fry up some peppers and mushrooms. I'm just spreading out this jackfruit mix. And I gotta say, this makes me happy that I made the beans too, because this could be terrible. It looks like, what did you say it looks like? Dog food. It looks like dog food. Also, my problem with jackfruit in general, as like a protein substitute, is that there's fuck all for protein in it. So it's not a great substitute for meat. I thought there was protein in everything. There is protein in everything, but when you're talking about like a significant source of it, it doesn't have that. I do like that. Oh, that's nice. Huh, it looks terrible, but it tastes pretty good. This is the jackfruit stuff. See if you like it. I mean, it's all right, but. Do you want it in your burrito? No, all right. I have a pretty regular rotation for my weekday breakfast, and one of them is this Fogart mixture that I made up, which if you've seen one of my videos like this before, you've seen me make it. It's essentially one serving of a soft fruit of your choice. My usual go-to is a banana mixed with a scoop of protein powder, a tablespoon of chia, you could also use flax, and then just enough non-dairy milk to get the mixture moving around. And you can make it as thick or as liquidy as you want. At this point, you could also add any additional sweeteners, or if you wanna add any extracts or spices like cinnamon or cocoa powder, I pour that onto a bit of a fruit salad, usually another two servings of fruit, mix it all up, and then I top it with hemp seeds and some homemade granola. But you could also just put cereal on here or just dried oats, whatever you want. And that's like my little Fogart mixture breakfast type thing, and I love it. I have it at least once or twice a week. And the recipe for both the Fogart and the granola are on my website. I made Fogart with a lot of things. I made it with pumpkin, blueberry, mango. I don't know, it's on my website, check it out. So I had cobbled together a lunch using leftovers. I don't know what this is gonna be. I've got some beans and that jackfruit from last night. I have some rice. So I'm gonna make a bowl of some kind. Uh, I got a little bit of salsa left. I think I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce with it. Mix that together, make a little sauce, and I'll throw some veggies on top. And make something that could be terrible, but could be awesome. We're gonna find out. Some olives. I got a little bit of bread here, so I'll either do that or a rice cracker with a little bit of nut butter. We'll cobble the other lunch, and some tea. Yeah, and an orange. Look at me, I'm just adding more stuff. Let's see how this random concoction tastes. That's nice. I put worse things in my mouth. A little barbecue sauce lifts it up a bit. I mean, it's basically what we had for dinner last night. We're just giving a little juice and doing something with it. I love leftovers like this, like just making a random meal like this, because I'll probably never eat something like this again. I just happen to have these random things from last night's dinner. It's another way to explore flavors. I don't think I've ever put barbecue sauce and salsa together. Pretty good. 
I just had one of those afternoons where I just did a ton of work and now I'm brain dead and I just want to spend time in the kitchen. Which is good because I have a lot of things I want to do tonight before dinner. I want to hopefully make my detox cubes because I'm almost out of those, which is my morning elixir. I'll explain more about that after. I'm hoping to make some kind of a dessert. What I'm looking at is these lemon glazed oat snack cakes. I'm gonna basically make sandwiches and soup, but I'm gonna make my own tomato soup from scratch. I'm gonna use a roasted tomato recipe. It's kind of a variation on a recipe from Bad Manners. Tomatoes and the garlic are roasting in the oven, soon to be joined by potatoes, onions, and cauliflower. All right, see you in half an hour. I'm enjoying the smell of my kitchen. It's times like this that you really wish that YouTube had smell of vision Roasted garlic? Oh baby. If my kids don't like this, they're jerks. And I'm not gonna cook them anymore. Next time they get soup out of a can. Not that there's anything wrong with soup out of a can. I've eaten many a soup out of a can. But you know, if you can make roasted tomato soup, your family's just gonna love you that much more. That's a fact. That's not a fact. I'm sorry I said that. I feel like the detox drink things aren't gonna happen. Maybe tomorrow. And then I'll shoot one. I've never done it raw. Here's what it looked like when I did my ginger shot during my juice cleanse raw. Oh, why did I do it? Oh, ow. Oh, there's so many feelings I have right now. So that's a preview of what might happen tomorrow morning. I'm gonna make an eggless salad sandwich, which is basically like egg salad sandwich, but made with tofu. Squeeze in the tofu. Get out, get out of there. It's hiding, it knows it's gonna be turned into something delicious. Get out. There we go. I forgot to hit record, but I just built the sandwich. Let's see if the kids like the soup. Really good. Try the... Oh my gosh, Dad, when you dip it, it's so good. I think it just, the roasted garlic could have been better. It could have had a bit more flavor, but I think it's pretty good. I, I've made this soup before and it's been better. And then we'll have muffins soon. Or lemon cake, cake old snack old thingies, whatever the hell they're called. What's going on with my oat cake of snackles? Oh, Are they super soft in the middle? I don't know, we haven't eaten them yet. Oh my God. Did these cook all the way? What you doing, Woody? No! What? Oh, sorry, I'm making a glaze. I'm gonna okay. bite in, you get this lemony, mapley goodness. It's gonna be worth every mistake. This is what the picture looks like. Nailed it. Nailed it. Mm. How's it looking inside? Like oatmeal. It's a little soft. But the taste. Oh shit. <laughs> That's good. It's really soft and squishy. Wait, it's like you're eating oatmeal. But in a muffin? Lemony and sweet. It just dates, people. No sugar. And it's amazing. It's really good. I'm just gonna make oatmeal in the Instant Pot for breakfast, which is pretty standard, normal stuff. But what I'm gonna do, that you might not have thought about before, is I'm gonna cook an apple with it inside. And what's gonna happen is the pressure cooking is gonna break down that apple, so it's gonna turn into like, kind of a roasted sauce. Then you mix it all together after and it's delicious. I'll add some other fruit and things to that, and that'll be breakfast. So now we're making my detox drink. This is what I have every morning. Uh, I usually freeze it into ice cube trays and pour some hot water and drink it as kind of like a tea. But for your pleasure today, I'm gonna do a shot of it, which I've never done before. How do I make this? 
a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, 20 grams of garlic, 20 grams of ginger, little splashes of maple syrup, this is optional. And then while it's blending, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of turmeric. I add that at the very end so it doesn't discolor my blender. And then I pour it in ice cube trays. But here, so we've got a shot. Oh, Whew. yeah, that's way better. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> it does some things after. There's a second wave of, of flavors that hit you. I mean, I kind of like that actually. That's way better than the, um, the ginger root. Huh, I mean, I've already frozen this batch, but moving forward, I might just keep this in the fridge and do shots of it in the morning. The link is below. All right, now we're gonna make some lunch because I am teaching downtown today. I teach advanced directing at the Toronto Film School because I'm a filmmaker, in case you didn't know that. Here's a link to my, my website where you can find out about my film projects that are widely available on VOD platforms around the world. So lunch today, I'm just gonna make a wrap using the eggless salad sandwich mixture that we made last night. Here's a hot tip for making your wraps easier to roll up. Put them in a microwave for like 15 seconds. But you gotta work quickly because they're gonna get hardened after that. So it's a good trick if your wraps are less than fresh. I'm gonna add some snacking vegetable vegetables to it. And then like I'll probably cut up an orange and add, uh, I don't know, maybe those lemon cake things that I made last night. And that's gonna be that. For lunch, for being boring, I'm just having some more of that egg salad sandwich, and I'm gonna have some of that tomato soup. And Annie's making a wrap. What's in your wrap, Annie? Yummy stuff. I think there's cheese in there, but there's also like lots of vegetables and hummus. Okay, let's let's wrap it up. Might uh, it's definitely gonna be full, Annie. Not professionally trained. Boom. Ta-da! Yeah, don't eat the toothpick. Don't uh, don't eat the toothpick. Success. That was really good. Look. I'm gonna make a turmeric latte. This is not my recipe. I wish I could say it is. It's by Gaz Oxley. So I'll post the link below and it'll be on the screen here as well. So you basically make like a mixture of these spices and then you use two teaspoons of the mixture plus about a tablespoon or more of maple syrup to your sweetness liking. And then like a cup of milk. And the way it was described was to do the milk, just warm the milk up and add the spices and the maple syrup. But I find it leaves a sludge behind. So I'm actually gonna try to blend it all together and then warm it up and then just drink it like that and see if that helps. That's so good. I first started getting these at a restaurant in Toronto called Fresh and they're delicious there, but they're not cheap. And so I was like, I need to find my own recipe. And by my own, I mean, I found Gaz's. I made a turmeric latte too. Oh, that's your turmeric latte made out of chocolate? Oh, perfect though. Yeah, that's the, that's the perfect drink when you're sick. Adding more sugar to your cold. My bad parent. Just don't send it to mama. Mommy's gonna watch this. Uh-oh. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make some tofu nuggets and some french fries. And I think I'm just gonna steam some peas because it's nice and simple. So not a super complicated dish, although the tofu nuggets are a bit of a procedure. So uh, yeah, and this recipe is on my website, super easy to make. And there's also another video I did on the YouTube channel that goes into real big detail on how to make them. So I'll link to that below as well. This is another example of just a really simple weeknight dinner that you can kind of throw together. So the trick with the tofu is that I actually freeze it first the night before and I thaw it in the morning and then I squeeze it out in like a tofu press. Really? Yeah, you've got one. Why are you making fun of me? No tofu nuggets for him. I thought you were just mansplaining to mama. Not mansplaining to mama, mansplaining to YouTube. It's a huge difference. Mom knows how to make tofu nuggets. Anyway, it just makes it, it gives it like a chewier texture that's more like a chicken nugget kind of thing. 
No tofu nuggets for him. What's cool about these nugget things is you can use them however you want. You can just eat them like a chicken nugget type thing. Or you can put these inside of a taco or whatnot. Eat them however you want. A wrap is fine. You know, make them their own. Make them your own, not their own. Whatever sauces you like. Mustard, ketchup, spicy mustard, barbecue sauce, peanut sauce. I'm not gonna tell you how to eat your nuggets. You're a, you're a grown ass person or a child. If you're a child watching this video, you're awesome. Two thumbs up. Subscribe. Or don't. Do you wanna make these meals? Let me know. What are we making? Nice. Uno. Six tablespoons of chia seeds. Six of these. Ooh, that was But what makes this one special and different than most chia puddings? Blended. And there's a, little, a couple little chunkies there. It's all right. What do we call that? Chunky monkeys. I was going to say texture, but that works too. All right, you're going to pour it in? So we like to make this in advance. You could just make this and eat it right away and it'd be totally fine, but the chia will thicken and it'll make it a more dense pudding, delicious. And later on, Annie's gonna top this with a bunch of stuff and turn it into parfaits. So I woke up with a hankering to make some breakfast cookies, um, but I'm gonna switch up my usual recipe, which is on my website and I'll post below, but I'll also put up what I'm doing here differently. Instead of the regular, Peanut butter, I'm gonna use this mixed nut butter that I got. I don't have a zucchini, so I'm gonna use a carrot. I don't have cranberries, so I'm gonna use raisins. And I don't have pistachios, so I'm just gonna use cashews, I think. And I think I'm gonna change up the spices too. I think I'm gonna add some like, a little bit of cloves, maybe some ginger spice instead of all the cinnamon. And I might put some orange zest in, just to zing them up a little bit. It's, that's the kind of recipe it is. You can just kind of mix and match things. for it. You're dripping off a piece in case you don't like it. Oh, she's getting a plate. I think that means she wants one. Cookies going on the plate. You put applesauce to dip it in? Yeah. Like a latka? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Oh, you want another one? You really like them. Go for it. You're welcome. Oh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a hug. I smell bad. I just worked out. Thanks. You don't look so great yourself. <laughs> I haven't been sick for several days. Love you. Cookies. Told you the first off with the TV show you hear in the background. My daughter has turned it down as much as she's willing to turn it down. I'm gonna make what could be a giant cluster mess of a dish. Um, I, I'm just basically gonna pull out everything that's in the fridge, vegetable wise and otherwise, and see if I can't turn it into a dish. I know I have potatoes, so I feel like it's gonna have, like, it's like, I think, it, I'm thinking like a casserole with a potato crust, like a shepherd's pie, but like whatever the fuck is inside of it, I don't know. I know I have some of that cheese sauce left. I think I have some either tomato sauce or salsa. I'll figure something out. This could be terrible. Good. You like it? Nice. Oh, God. That's a nice flavor combination. It's not bad for like a dinner made up completely of just random leftover stuff. Nice little, uh, whatever the hell it is, casserole. Pie, shepherd's thing. That's it's that's it's gonna be its name. What is this? Oh, those are, those are cockroaches, sorry. I was using up what I had in the kitchen. So I'm gonna make some mug cakes for dessert. I'm gonna mix all the stuff together now, and then I just need to combine it right before 
We want to eat them. My cookies are so good. They're so good and they're so simple and they're so easy. Now that you say it, it looks like a cookie in a mug. It's really good. Thanks, Annie. Thanks for joining me and my family for what we eat in a week. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on making any of these dishes yourself. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. YouTube thinks you'd like to watch this video of mine as well. Give it a shot. It's a pretty good one. Thanks.